Hello, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. As some of you may know, I've been moving. It seems like forever. Mm. Welcome to my couch. <laughs> and so it's been crazy. I still don't have internet. I'm still having a problem getting internet. And, uh, well, it's just been interesting to say the least. And I believe that in trying to help me when I changed phone carriers, the person at the store changed some settings on my videos, which is making it even more difficult to upload when I had the opportunity. So yesterday I took a drive and I was at a place that was about, about 40 minutes, maybe a little more away and was able to upload two videos. I was so excited, but so I'm going to make all the videos and then try to find a place to upload. So cross your fingers. You guys see this the 21st of August. Check you out. King of Cups, Virgo. Could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And, uh, well, he's very in control of his emotions. You know, he sits in this hard, and I always notice, he sits in this really hard throne above the water. So, there's a lot of control here. You know, I'm not the kind of person who's going to go off half-cocked and get crazy. Page of Wands. Could be dealing with someone younger than you who's a fire sign. This is also, could be you, a new start in something. Trying, going for a, a new adventure. Page of Pentacles. Page, sorry. Seven, seven of Pentacles. So basically, Virgo, we've got two pentacles things going on here, right? No, jeez, I'm so glad I can... Wow. I wonder why I said that. I wonder if that'll come out. So King of Cups with the Page of Pentacles could be dealing, and I hear in my head, like Father, Son. I don't know why that came to my mind, but it did. So could be you, emotionally stable, trying something new, but you're, you know, you have some... strong feelings about there seven of pentacles this is about watching what you've put in grow so that could have something to do with the page of wands maybe you've started something and you're you're just waiting to see what happens you know you put some effort in what's going to happen well what's going to happen look at that there's a new offer of love coming your way page of cups could be a younger water sign wow so you have a cast of characters going on here and the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is uh, not a good card, to say the least. As you can tell, you know, here you are running away with two swords, but there's, there's somebody that's got two swords stuck in their back, and here's another one with one sword stuck in their back. So it's the winning at all costs. So I would have to say that if you are vying for something, trying something, and putting effort in, I would have to say be careful because if you're winning at all costs, as this card says you might do, um, there, there's a catch. I mean, you know what the catch is? Is you're alone. <laughs> so all these new starts, this page of wands, this page of cups, you know, starting something new that you love and putting so much effort in, be careful when you put the effort in that it's not bad effort, that it's good effort. You know, it's uh, about your success, not about someone else's failure. That's really what I feel like saying. Could it be, uh, you know, keep in mind this is a general reading. So, you know, I don't want to, uh, it may or may not be your story, Virgo. So let's see here. See, I asked about the Page of Wands, what they're doing, and the Ace of Cups. This is, this is big. It's big. So, this is something you really do love. So, this is a new start in something you truly love. Let's see. Tell us more for Virgo. So, traditionally, the Ace of Cups, the cup is overflowing in all directions. Uh, in this one, it's not overflowing. It just is the Ace of Cups. Th 
the page of swords. Goodness gracious, Virgo. Now, keep in mind, be careful. The page of swords could be spying. Remember I said winning at all costs, five of swords? This is the one time I'm going to tell you that be careful. The page of swords could be dealing with uh, police, could be spying. So really be careful what you're doing right now, Virgo. That's what I'm going to tell you because you have the page of wands, the page of cups. Now the page of swords, there's a lot of new. A lot of new. And to me, I would say be careful with the page of swords here. Okay? That's... If you get the page of pentacles, I, I'm going to blow a gasket here <laughs> because that would be really shocking because this to me is talking about you have a lot of new things coming your air. Yeah. Working hard at something you love. See, this to me, that's what you should do. What do you love to do? That's what you should do. Don't, don't, don't try to, you know, succeed by, you know, mucking in someone else's business like the five of swords. You know, don't be stabbing anybody in the back. Don't be doing anything. I want to say traitorous, which sounds horrible or illegal because that page of swords to me, the way he's got that crazy look in his eyes, that's a, that's not a good look. Not a good look at all, Virgo. So I would have to say, don't do anything illegal right now. Because to me, it sounds like you get caught. Nine of swords. Yeah, and as I'm talking about that, you, you've been really, you have a lot of anxiety right now. So to me, it looks like you have lots of new starts. You're working really hard towards something, but you're really, really anxious. I really think it's just all this work. You know, you've put a lot of effort in. You've got a bunch of new starts, a lot of new, you know, irons on the fire, as they say. And um, I think that be careful that your your anxiety, this worry, this sleepless night stuff isn't making you really seriously think about making a bad decision in the five of swords which could get you in trouble with literally the law so don't do that Virgo be good so let's see what's let's see if the uh, silver witchcraft tarot have anything to add to that for you Virgo what do you want to add what else page of wands again a page so this is the page of wands the second time yeah pages of wands look at that look at his hair blowing in the wind with the fire look at his hands now this this deck does come with a little book and i'm kind of curious because all i could think of is with the page of wands is with this here it made me think of the, the, the devil and the angel, you know, on either shoulder. You know, good decisions, bad decisions kind of thing. So we're going to check their little book. Kind of curious here to see what it says for the page of wands here. And of course, it's going to be the last page I check, right? Yes, of course it is. Page of wands. Very enthusiastic, energetic person. She loves to be, oh, loves action. She is warm and passionate, but her feelings could turn quickly if things don't go her way. See, that's why you have the five of swords. That's why you have the nine of swords and the page of swords. Don't, don't let your anger get a hold of you and don't go to, just don't get crazy. That's what I have to say. Don't get crazy, Virgo. If uh, something isn't going your right, going your way or going right, don't get angry, you know. Just realize that it may be the universe telling you to slow down or that you need to make, make a change in some way. So, oh boy. Too many cards, Virgo. Too many cards. I'm going to take a card for Virgo. Spellcasting Oracle cards. Wow. So, they chose for me. So, this is something that you have talent in. Whatever this is talking about, these all these new starts, you have a talent. You have a gift for them. And I like that you got it with trust. So trust in the process. What was I saying? Don't get angry. Trust that there's a reason. If there's been a delay, there's a reason. This is the universe's way of saying, wait, check it out. Make sure. Yes, you have a gift. But don't get crazy. Make sure first. Okay? 
So it's looking good there, Virgo. Looking really good. We got we got a lot going on though. Boy. Let's see here. I love when the shirt gets all weird. Virgo, let's get your romance angel card. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, could be you, could not be you, but there may be somebody in your life that you will always love, but nothing will ever happen of it. But to me, you know what that really means? Unrequited love is not love. That's a lot of like. <laughs> And I know that sounds crazy. I guess I guess you could have unrequited love if you love somebody but they don't love you. But to me, I don't know. I don't know. There's something about it that just doesn't feel right. But this may be your story. It may not be your story. I don't know who I'm talking to. So <laughs> thank you so much for being here, Virgo. I wish you the best. Good luck. Like I said, be good. Don't get in trouble, okay? Bye. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.